Over the years, Microsoft and other programs have become better and better with accessibility issues. If you ever have to create a course or create materials that are being used by the federal government or state governments or local governments, at least in the United States, you need to be aware of something called Section 508. This is related to accessibility standards in materials. So for example, when I used to create courses for the FBI, everything that we made had to be 508 compatible. In this case, I wanna take a look at something called alt text or alternative text. The concept behind this is that people with visual challenges or folks who are just completely blind cannot obviously see a picture in a document, can't see a picture in a spreadsheet. And so they have a tool called a screen reader. A screen reader does just what you think it would do by the name of it. It reads the screen to somebody. Screen readers have also come a long way, but they fail when it comes to pictures. Now, Microsoft, like I've said, has really done some advancements over the years, especially with the newer versions of Office. What happens here is that we have to provide alternative text for the screen reader to read to a person with those visual challenges. Adding alt text is fairly simple. What we have here are we have two images. We have one that's just a shape that I use through the insert option over here in illustrations. And another one here is a picture of me and my cat. <laughs> now to do the alternative text for both of these, it's the same process. You right click on your image. And by the way, this works for Word as well as PowerPoint. So this just is not an Excel thing. So we right click on our image. And we go down here to something that says edit alt text Alt, like I said, being alternative text. We're going to click on that. And over here to the right, we have a little box that shows up. The information we put into this box is what is read by the screen reader. So if it's just a decorative box, which does absolutely nothing for nobody, it's just there for decoration. We can click mark is decorative and it just moves on. But let's say that this was information that we really needed for somebody to know. We could type a description there for the screen reader. And that's all we have to do. We don't have to hit enter. We don't have to do anything. If we click off of it, that alt text is automatically saved. Let me click on the picture and let me type in the description over here from the picture. And there we go. Sometimes it will automatically guess what the alt text is and it might take a look at it, it might take a read at it. In some cases, you can submit it from Microsoft to take another look at it to help improve their alt text program. But that's alt text. You right click on a picture, you go over here, you enter the alt text and you're good to go. For even more great tutorials and our complete catalog of online courses, please visit us at mrfordsclass.com.